Hello there, thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video we are going to be working on fire department tools. I have put together my own custom pack of tools for uh, that I use for fire department roleplay. So I'm going to be releasing that in this video. So um, let's go ahead and get started, open up Roblox Studio. Once you have Roblox Studio opened, go ahead, find your place that you're going to be working on and open it. Alright, for this tutorial, you're going to want to refer to the Team Only Tools video that I have. Also, for the How to Set Up Team Spawns video. And then you're also going to want to go into View. Make sure you have Toolbox, Properties, and Explore open. Once you have all those open, go ahead and go back to Home. Next, go into the description of this video, click on that link down there, it should bring you to the Roblox site. Go ahead and get that model. It's going to give you my pack, and then come back into Roblox Studio. Once you're back into Roblox Studio, go ahead and open your toolbox, go into my inventory, find Armies FD Tools, and drag it in, and then you have an explorer. Next, what you're going to want to do is open Army's FD Tools and follow the guide to to ungroup each one of these boxes. Uh, just wait for the ungroup and FD team. You can wait for that. But otherwise, let's go ahead and ungroup the rest of these. Hold on. Let me uh, make properties a little bit smaller for you guys. There you go. So now, uh, just go ahead, find the places these need to go and ungroup them with control U. So go ahead, drag them in and place them where you want. All right, once you have that done, uh, now is the time that you're gonna wanna use that uh, team and spawns video, how to set up teams and spawns. Um, otherwise you can just quickly follow along and uh, we're, we're just gonna use one spawn for all teams just for this tutorial but if you do want to know how to set up spawns and stuff you can refer to that video um, otherwise we're gonna want to uh, go ahead uh, go into uh, the tabs make sure you're in the model tab go ahead click service find teams click insert once you have that done go ahead go into explorer right click on teams insert object search up team in the search bar okay now go ahead and we're going to do FD team you won't need a second team for this tutorial as uh, we're only going to be using FD and only their tools so you like I said you can use that video that I linked in that card back there um, to help you out set those up so go ahead, pick your color for that FD team. We're going to do maroon. Then you can take that last thing to ungroup, drag that into the FD team, and control U to ungroup. And that gives you all your tools here. It's a huge list of tools. You can trim them down, whatever you want. Um, I don't know why we have a state park uh, bar barrier in there. Um, it's probably not going to work for you guys, so uh, you can delete that. Um, next, what you're going to want to do is double click on Tool Service. Okay. Next, you're going to want to um, put the team color of your department there, which is going to be maroon. And then right here is going to be the FD name. So just do four syllables. We're going to do LCFD Lane County Fire Department okay and then you can close out of that script alright that's gonna be everything so go ahead and click play to test it out alright we're in the game here we're gonna try the ventilation fan first there you go it works so you can either remove one ventilation fan at a time or you can remove all 
Um, this works with uh, ladders, um, works with flares. Alright, now I'm just going to go through all the tools and, uh, yeah. So, I'm, I don't actually, like, know how all these work. This is an attack line. It shoots out water. Um, it is broken, as you can see. It always shoots out water until you put it away. Um, if, if this isn't taking out any fires, if you have an automatic fire system, um, it's because you need to hold down the button. You have to hear that water sound. Um, so that's the attack line. We have a stop sign, slow sign, ventilation fan. We have two of those for whatever reason. Ladder, power drill, pike pole, med kit. We have a life pack. Two different types of life packs, as you can see. BVM. We have a backboard. Uh, people can't actually sit on that. I haven't uh, figured out a way to fix that. Um, a broom, so for if you're sweeping up scenes, you can use this bad boy. <laughs> CO meter, um, carbon dioxide meter. Uh, cones, so you can place 10 cones down right next to you. Um, if they're out too far, you, you won't be able to place them, but you have to place them when they're right next to you. Um, and as you can see, we have this. You can remove one of them at a time, or you can click remove all. Okay, after cones, you have some cutters for vehicles. We have a fire axe, a fire department barrier. I'm not sure if this actually works or not. Nope, it doesn't. So uh, that's something that you can remove. Um, we have a little fire extinguisher. This doesn't actually put out uh, fires if you have an automatic fire system. Um, we have flares here. You can place down some flares if, if it's nighttime or visibility is low. Um, we have a, another, just a... Uh, random type of meter you can do whatever you want with that I, I don't really have a name for it another generator right here this is a generator maybe to power your ventilation fans or power your power drill or whatever whatever you want to use for it um, it depends on how uh, how realistic you want to be our hill again right here two of those in two different uh, styles we have a uh, pack here so that when you're rolling out hose or doing stuff with that you can move that another med bag and a saw for cutting and that sounds like it's oh no it's good okay yep so that's gonna be my whole entire um fire department's fire setup i'm gonna remove some of those tools for you guys so that you don't have to delete them yourselves and uh yeah so i'll see you guys later i hope this tutorial helped you and have a great rest of your day